What's the best way to grow lettuce indoor? Should you use a hydroponic system or just grow in pots and put it under regular LED lights? I didn't know the answer to that, so I decided to test it. I'm going to grow lettuce two different ways and compare the two methods. The first one is using the Let Pot Max unit. This is a desktop or countertop hydroponic system that comes with a reservoir and pump and light, everything built into one unit. The second system I'm testing is what I would normally do is I just put the lettuce in pots and put them under some of my LED lights and grow it that way. I mean, why bother with hydroponic? Is it really a better system? Let me describe my experiment and the two systems in a bit more detail. I started the lettuce seeds in my baggy method, so I knew the seed was germinating. And once the seed showed the little root coming out, I put it either into soil, which is my standard pro mix, or I put it into the let pot little sponge cylinders that are used for starting seed. They were started on the same day. Now, the let pot system uses a hydroponic fertilizer solution in the reservoir, so I decided to use the same solution for watering the plants that are in the pot. That way, the differences you see are not due to changes in nutrient as much as I could control. So every time I watered the ones in the soil, I used a hydroponic solution. The lettuce growing in the hydroponic system was topped up when I first put the system together, and I haven't had to replace any of the hydroponic solution. Now, I've done some other testing separate from this experiment, and I found that the nutrients in that hydroponic solution stay pretty constant. As the plants use water, they also use nutrients, but the concentration of nutrients doesn't change dramatically. So both of these plants are growing in more or less the same nutrient solution, so we can ignore the fertilizer component to this. Both systems use LED lights. But those light systems are somewhat different. For the Let Pop Max system, I set the light 7 inches above the surface of the unit. As the plants grew, they grew closer and closer to the light, but I left it at that height. The plants now are about 5 inches tall, although one of the leaves is sort of sticking up and almost touching the light. The ones grown in pots were put under a different light system that has a little more power. This is the Metrigrow 100 watt system. The lights were set so that they're about 13 inches above the surface of the pot. I measured the amount of light in both systems. The let pot system gave me a value of 17,000 lux, and this is at sort of the plant height. Well, that's the light the plant's actually receiving. The metric growth system is giving me about 30,000. So it's almost twice the amount of light. Now lettuce is a low light plant, so it shouldn't need a lot of light to grow. But of course, when plants have more light, they do grow faster and they do grow larger. I actually expected the ones under the Metrigrow light to grow a little faster and larger because they're getting more light. So that's my experimental setup. Same fertilizer in both systems. Seeds were started and germinated. They were both germinated at the same time. They both received the same fertilizer solution. The let pot I could just leave alone because it has quite a large reservoir. The pots had to be watered, and I watered them whenever they started to dry out. At least I tried to. And for watering, I used the hydroponic fertilizer solution that is in the let pot. Now let's see how the two systems performed. These are the lettuce plants growing in pots. Now the plant doesn't look quite as large as the other one, but that's because I haven't been watering enough. And you can see these lower leaves have gone all limp. That's just a watering issue. I think if I tried to grow these under lights, I would switch to larger pots next time. This one over here is quite a bit nicer. You can see that the leaves are smaller. They're growing much more compact. In fact, when I tasted these, these are much firmer and thicker. They're a little chewier. Uh, not that that is a bad thing. I actually prefer them a little chewier. It has a little more substance. So under the high light, we're growing stronger leaves, and they're a little smaller. Again, this droopiness here is my fault. I just screwed up by not watering enough. A very nice head of lettuce. I really can't say that this one is any larger or smaller than the other one. These are the lettuce plants that I'm growing in the let pod hydroponic system. I have had problems with germinating the seeds. They seem to take a long time to get out of these sponges that they use. I'm not sure why that is. These two seeds were started at the same time, and this is a much larger plant, and 
it started to grow fairly quickly. This one just sat around forever before it started to grow. Once they're growing, they do quite well in this system. The leaves are quite nice, good shape. I always look at the edge to see if there's any dry spots, and there really aren't. As the plant gets larger, some of the lower leaves will show spotting. This one way over here is browning off a little bit. Color is quite good. Overall, this looks like a really nice head of lettuce. And I'm going to harvest this one today. The way I actually harvest these is I, I leave these leaves in the center here. And I take the larger ones off the edge. And then it'll just keep growing. And then when it's back to this size, which will be a couple weeks from now, I'll harvest the ones around the outside again. And let the center grow. And you can do that for quite a while in these systems. What is my overall conclusion of this experiment? I think that both systems worked quite well. The lettuce plants are about the same size in both systems. The advantage of the lead pot system is that I'm using a lower light level, so I'm actually using less electricity to grow them. And quite honestly, it was a lot less work because throughout this whole period, I never had to water the plant. As the lettuce gets larger, it will start using up the water that's in the reservoir, and I will have to top it up. But I don't have to do that very often. The ones grown in pots, I guess I could have put into larger pots. But using the pots that they're in, they had to be watered every two or three days. And that was a lot more work. And I'll be honest, some days I waited a little bit too long. And the leaves started shriveling a little bit because they weren't getting enough moisture. The lettuce that's growing under the metrigrow light is about the same size as the ones in the hydroponic system. But they've been getting twice as much light. And I honestly expected them to be much larger. I didn't see that happening. And maybe that's because lettuce doesn't need high light. So the fact that I'm using twice as much electricity giving them twice as much light, isn't really growing me more lettuce. Now that could be different if I had used large pots. Perhaps then they would have grown large. But then they also take up more space. I'm not a lettuce connoisseur, so even though I tasted the two different plants, I really can't tell much difference in taste. To be quite honest with you, I find lettuce to be quite tasteless. I'm going to harvest both of these plants tonight for dinner, and I don't think we'll be able to tell the difference which one is which, except, of course, from the color of the leaves. Higher light seems to make the leaves a little redder, so there is that difference. But while I'm chomping down on the salad, and of course we'll add all kinds of stuff in there, other vegetables and some marinade and so on, uh, probably not going to notice the difference. All right, which system would I use? Well, quite honestly, I like the hydroponic system. When I started the experiment, I thought I'd prefer the pots, because that's how I grow everything. But the hydroponic system does just as well, uses less electricity, and is a whole lot less work. So if I had to choose between the two, I'd pick the hydroponic system. And I particularly like the Let Pop Max for that, because it has a larger reservoir than most of these countertop hydroponic systems. That just means less work for me, and that makes me happy. Now, if you'd like to see another comparison I did, growing lettuce, tomatoes, and herbs in two different hydroponic systems as well as in pots, have a look at this video right here. And if you'd like to see the competition between growing in the cracky method and the deep water culture method, have a look at this video right here. Happy gardening.